Welcome to Sunday. It is July the 24th. It is 12.09 p.m. in the afternoon. And today, this Sunday, I would like to talk about the in-between or the place between being asleep and awake and the possibilities, what's may be possible beyond astral projection and shifting. And I want to talk about the things, of course, that I've experienced. So um, I, I don't know that there are any limits to this space, but let me go over some of the things that have happened in that place to me that are neither astral projection or shifting. One of the things that I've been able to do is have conversations with beings um, that I believe have um, passed on and are in other realms. It's been very interesting. One of the first beings that I talked about on this channel early on, and for those of you who have been part of this channel for a while, you'll know the name Mito. Mito was one of the first... one of the first beings that I met um, in that in-between place. And it was so interesting because what happened was I was laying down, I was relaxing. And again, I always like to give tips to people as I go along with my experiences and um, in a sense saying, hey, this, this worked for me, so maybe it'll work for you. Again, one of the things that is consistent with this is that I was just relaxing. I wasn't necessarily focused on doing something. I wasn't like, you know, fiercely focused on like communicating with beings in the beyond. I was just lying down and I was relaxing and I was open to the possibility of doing this. So um, this to me in regards to astral projection, in regards to shifting, in regards to any of these things I talk about, is something that is can be very helpful. The other thing is that it was in the morning, and I've talked about this before. People have asked me, what is the best time to you know, either astral project, shift, or do any of these things? I have always said I will consistently tell you um, that honestly, the time that I have the most success is in the morning. That is when I normally have the most success, when I'm just opening my eyes, You know, perhaps I get up, go to the restroom, I come back and I just lay down and I just relax and close my eyes. And this was, I believe the case was when I met Mito, I was in that space and um, I felt this connection. It was almost like a spark, you know, like an electrical spark. That's what it really felt like. It felt like I was touching a, a spark of electricity in a sense. And then I started speaking to this being and it was so funny because during our conversation, it was, this was a very young Japanese girl. I don't know if she's maybe, she was maybe 10, 11 years old, maybe younger than that. And one of the things I asked in the very beginning when I started talking to her was I was asking her how she died. And she told me that um, Godzilla had threw, thrown her off a mountain <laughs> and I laughed and laughed and laughed, and that that's how I first connected with her. Obviously, I don't believe that Godzilla did throw her off a mountain. And by the way, Godzilla um, as a character has been around for quite some time, so um, I wasn't sure when Mito was young and you know had passed, but it could have been quite some time ago because anyone who knows that particular character, Godzilla, you know it's been around, I I think, since the 50s and 60s. I mean, it's been a very, very long time since that that character has been around. So I laughed, and I, I just felt this really deep attachment with her. And at one point, I believe she moved on, and um, before she moved on, she showed me this this room um, and it was full of these origami, um, paper origami figures. And they were very intricately made. And those of you who um, I'm sure uh, 
most people must are familiar with origami as the I guess it started in Japan long long time ago where they made these little kind of animal figures with um paper and it, it's 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 quite beautiful and she showed me this room that was full of these figures I mean it was from one from one wall to the other and it was it was so beautiful and this was right before she moved on so it was sad it was sad for me i'm i'm very happy that she moved on to whatever that next step is for people who pass i was happy for that but at the same time i was sad because i miss mito and um anyway that was a conversation with a being that had moved on now another conversation that i had um recently and again this was not something that i shared on the channel was with someone who was um, who identified themselves as an nco or non-commissioned officer and their comment to me was that the people in the military now that were real that were re-enlisting into the military did not have the same standards like they do um or like they did in his time and it was it was so interesting because it, this started off as hey <laughs> he just said hey i could hear it and then i said yes i can hear you and then that's when the being started speaking to me um, it was very, very interesting. Many times these conversations are very brief. They're very short. Sometimes they're longer. Um, I had contact with a being that was extremely angelic that I could sense that was passing over me. And um, the being was singing something like, the day is done, the day is done, but they were singing. And again, you don't want to hear me sing because I do not have a voice <laughs> that could carry a note. But it was a very beautiful uh, thing, a song that this person was singing called The Day Is Done, The Day Is Done, and then this person hit a note. And when the person hit a note, I felt my, through my spine, I felt it begin to vibrate. And it was just, oh God, it was, it was amazing. It, it was a very healing kind of feeling experience as this being passed me. Um, and then the being moved moved on past uh, me, and it was it was really really cool. So contact with beings um, that are beyond this world are are definitely I think possible in that space. But something else that happens as well. Sometimes I I will shift to other realities, but then sometimes I have glimpses of realities. Sometimes as pure consciousness. And that's another kind of a cool thing where I can observe something. Something that happened this morning, which was, I got to share this with you again, very brief, but oh my God, it was, it was just amazing. So I had shut my eyes at some point in the morning, this morning, and I saw, a, I was, I was moving along what I thought might have been a boardwalk, I wasn't sure, but I saw just ocean, ocean. There was an ocean, and then above me was was a, um, well, let me tell you about the first ship that I saw. I want you to take a moment to imagine an, an oil tanker. You know the oil tankers? The enormous ship that carry oil from one place to another. First, I want you to imagine that instead of oil, that it was full of vegetables. And that's this is what I saw. I saw the vegetables, they were very organized. I saw green, I saw different colors of, of vegetables. It wasn't cov covered, but the whole entire ship was full of these vegetables. The other thing that I saw was that the ship was landing. It looked, for all purposes, this was an oil tanker that was landing from the air. It was landing onto the water. This did not have wings. It had, what I remember was a propeller that was absolutely enormous. It was huge. Um, 
think of the drones that have the that have the propellers that point up and they're 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 angled upward and they spin but think of it on a scale that you couldn't imagine it was huge and there were i believe there were multiple um propellers like this on this ship and it came down and it sailed onto the water and when i was observing it i was like oh that's interesting now <laughs> when i opened my eyes i was like oh my god because look according to what i know is possible at this point i i don't think of something that size that was a ship that size could just fly now i saw another ship with vegetables also full of vegetables take off into the air it took off into the air and as it was taking off into the air it got higher and higher and then i kid you not i kid you not it did a loop it did a loop and as it did a loop all of these vegetables began to f- began to fall out of the ship but the vegetables had they had these little parachutes <laughs> oh my god Oh God, I, I always think people, there are people out there that are listening to this going, this guy has lost his mind, but I am telling you exactly what I observed, guys. Honestly, this is what I saw. I saw vegetables falling out of this ship with parachutes and they were going into the ocean. And I heard a voice as I was moving in this place go, mmm, like delicious. And I was like, okay, this is interesting. And I opened my eyes shortly after that. But when I asked my, I was speaking with my mom about it and she was saying it was possible. She said there were a couple possibilities. She talked about Atlantis and that there's possible that I could have seen a glimpse of that. She talked about the fact that I could have seen a glimpse of the future and that is possible. I know I don't talk about that a lot, the future isn't something I'm necessarily interested in seeing because people have asked me about it. Sometimes images, things, glimpses, visions pop up. But um, this was a possibility. It's a possibility. It could have been a future happening. Or it could have been simply another reality that I got a glimpse of. And in this verse, this universe, in this reality, these things were possible. In regards to why that second ship may have dumped the vegetables onto the ocean. There was the possibility or there is the possibility that there was an underwater city, that they were, that this was a delivery method that they had to that underwater city. Not sure. I'm not sure what I was seeing, but it was fascinating guys. Absolutely fascinating. So these are a few examples of what else is possible If this is something you want to try, I think it really takes the ability to be able to relax, chill, and not have so much effort focused on doing it, which I think there are so many people that put so much effort into these things. And my recommendation is to always just chill, relax, and allow it to happen. It will happen many times, at least in my experience. It has happened when I least expect it. Anyway, thank you so much for coming on this Sunday journey with me. And until next time, take care.